Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> see if there's any in it still. <laughs> Why don't you see if there's any more beer left in that can and relax a bit. Welcome to Movie Visions! Retro Review episode 34. Tonight we're reviewing Drop Dead Gorgeous. <gasps> Drop Dead Gorgeous. I'm putting this down. <laughs> Luckily, you can. <laughs> the moment has arrived. Yes. We're finally reviewing Drop Dead Gorgeous. Yes. Which was originally called Dairy Queens. Oh. But they had to rename it because Dairy Queen threatened to sue them. I think this was better. Oh, it's a much better title. Yeah. Dairy Queens is like the joke play they'd be putting on about it or something. I think it's not, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> sure. not, it's, Drop Dead Gorgeous is a much better title. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tells me much more about what's happening. It's great. Unless it was D A R. What, like dare oh queens oh, we're really digging into the wordplay here <laughs> first things first shout out to our wine sponsor wink try wink.com slash movie bitches you get 22 dollars off your first month of wine so drop dead gorgeous for the first time streaming anywhere in 20 years that's crazy i think from what i've understood is that it had to do with music rates oh i mean there was an elton john song in here did you notice no <laughs> At the end, when they're at state before nationals, she's like, "Oh gosh, they're really good." Like I, I don't know, you know, she's like all intimidated. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were playing uh, Saturday, 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 Saturday. So maybe Elton John was the holdout. Maybe. It's they homophobic. also play. A, they also play a, Bach Zarathustra. They're like bum bum. Oh bum. Ba, ba. That's what it's called. The 2001 song. Right. Do you think they heard us? Maybe it was Don't cry out loud <laughs> Keep it inside <laughs> I mean, it could be I mean, it's, yeah. That song is pretty Who was the essential whole Because like, you could probably change any of the other songs too I don't know how that works Ish? Yeah Potentially Potentially yeah. But that, you can't change it Yeah, I mean, they changed all the music for Dawson's Creek when they streamed it Still mad about it <laughs> I went to a special screening that they did for yes. Outfest uh, for the 20th anniversary where they had some special guests. Was Denise Richards there? No. <gasps> no, pretty much all of the people of, of note were not available. Amy Adams didn't show up? I know, right? That bitch. <laughs> so who was there? Um, so it was... Great. No, well now you're making me feel bad for not knowing their names. Melinda, the, so it's the assistant from who's Austin Powers lady? Frau Farbissena? Yeah! Oh, Mindy Sterling. Yes! Yes, nailed it. <laughs> Pulled that right out. <laughs> and then it was... Love her. Yeah, love her. She's amazing. Fabulous. Turns out she was connected through to a bunch of these people from Groundlings. Oh, great. I mean, the cast is insane. Insane. But all that sort of like little cameo people that show up here and there, they're all like improv people. Yeah. and like Because the director did a bunch of like Reno 911 episodes and the state and like something. So he was like in that world. Mm. So that people would show up and be like, oh, it's that person that I recognize. <laughs> well, so he was there, the Ooh. director. Great. Michael. Three names. Yep. Michael, three names. <laughs> don't, don't I feel very them. embarrassed, but also sorry. <laughs> so, you do, so you don't feel embarrassed at all? No. No. <laughs> I mean, you can look it up. Oh, yeah, true. Michael Patrick Jan. Yeah, with two N's. Yep. Three names, two ends. Sure, Jan. Sure, Jan. That's funny. I've never heard of a George Glass at our school. I don't remember a George Glass at our school. <laughs> we got four on the sugar. <laughs> don't worry, it's on the list. Oh, it's high up there on yeah, the list. Yeah, so he was there, and then the girl, um, I'm also going to forget her name, with the yarn. Oh. I guess I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> it makes me proud. I'm a I kind of misunderstood the assignment. Great. She was there, and great. she was really great. Fabulous. Yeah, so that was kind of fun. Um, the Q&A was not great, we're not going on. Whatever, we won't talk about that. But um, I hate Q&As. I, I hate Q&As. I'd say 99% of the time, hate Q&As. Yep, however. There's always that 1% that's great. There, that, in it this case. You and far between. The fun tidbit. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I mean, they talked about Brittany Murphy a little bit, which was sweet. Yes. But the, the, the best. The takeaway? The big takeaway was that a few days into filming, Kirstie Alley goes, Gosh, I guess I should have read the script. 
Well, I read that um, they were trying, you know, they were doing fittings for her and like trying on all of her costumes and stuff like that. And she refused to try them on like in the wherever they were. And she was like, no, have them sent to the Scientology uh, buildings and they'll be approved there. And that's where I'll try them on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Scientology in 1996? Oh yeah. Nine? Oh. 99? Oh, oh yes. I oh, they've been going on for, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. they've had they've had John Travolta and Kirstie Alley for decades. Oh, that's so tragic. Decades and decades. Then it really kind of made me realize, like, she's really fabulous if she didn't even have read the script, I mean, let alone fabulous. memorize her lines, and she was just Kirstie awesome. Alley is fabulous. Yes, yeah. she's hilarious. Yes, I love her. It's too bad about the Scientology thing. Yeah, I mean, it, that definitely keeps her out of FCI. I mean, I think we did put her on there. Did we? But maybe it needs to be retracted. Yeah, I think it has to be. I don't think I knew that. Yeah, you definitely didn't. Because <laughs> I just found out now. Because you just found out now. <laughs> so Drop Dead Gorgeous, the cult classic. Yes. I mean, everybody kept commenting like, oh, it's such an unsung, like nobody knows about this movie. Like, I don't saying? think as many people do know about it. Like, I mean, I think even Heather's probably has more of a following. Probably. Than Drop Dead Gorgeous does. I kind of like this as almost like a follow-up. It's not as dark as Heather's. No, I kind of wish it got a little darker, I'll be honest. I agree. I feel like Jawbreaker is a more appropriate follow-up. That's about the same time. To Heather's? Yes. Oh yes, yeah. Indeed. Jawbreaker was like 98, 99. Yeah. Sweet spot, that junior high sweet oh spot. God. Craziness. Yeah. But so, I mean, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched Dropped to Gorgeous, oh. it's streaming on Hulu for the first time ever, so go watch it and then come back here. Underappreciated at the time. Still slightly underappreciated now, but yeah, I think so. well, I think it now seems that it's like, like 20 years later. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't made like a musical out of this. I mean, it would be a great musical. It, it's, it's like right there. It's, it's all of the materials. It's all right there. Yeah. <laughs> the, all of the materials. All of them. Like if you had all of the chorus people like then with beer cans in oh, their yeah. hand. She, she could have some sort of fever dream nightmare in the hospital where Ooh. like everyone's got, or, or people are dressed like big Miller yes. like, cans. And it's like maybe you have like a Busby Berkeley-esque musical uh, number uh -huh, where it's uh -huh. just like, Woo! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it's that. It's like cigarettes and beer cans just dancing around. I love it. Love, love it. it. But yes, yeah, Dropped It Gorgeous. It's like one part Christopher Guest mockumentary, yeah. one part Errol Morris comedy documentary. You know, it's like it's very Gates of Heaven where it's just like small town. Are these people real? Aren't they? You know, it's like, uh, yes. like it is very real in its portrayal. Like the characters are like, oh, I knew her. Yep. You it's know? very spot on. Yeah. And yet also a joke. A full joke. It starts with our big cameo by Adam West. Oh I mean, my God. I love this so much. Love Adam West. <laughs> The American teen princess pageant provides scholarship, travel, and you might even meet a few celebrities. And then there's just like where they insert <laughs> town name here. <laughs> Mount Rose. <laughs> Compete around the country in places like beautiful Mount Rose, Minnesota. <laughs> the computer boy. And welcome to the. <laughs> well, then my other favorite part. Oh, I laugh so hard when she's at state or nationals or whatever. And she's like. My roommate did Adam West. Well, she said he was so horny. Adam West, not available for comment. comment. Love Adam West. Can he, like, narrate my life? <laughs> Didn't he die? I think he died. Whatever. He can still do it. Okay, great. God! <laughs> be on the grave, I don't care. We'll get the computer to pull all of the clips, and yes. then they can recreate his voice, and they can narrate your life. No. Beautiful Mount Rose, Minnesota. We meet our first main character, Kirstie Alley. Yes. The head of the town, you no know, miss popularity in high school, the, the winner, winner of, of the American Teen Princess the American Teen Princess pageant. And we get introduced to the town and everything that goes on there. I really liked all of this stuff. They really laid the groundwork of the town yes. very well. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why us Lutherans we use grape Kool-Aid instead of for the blood of Christ. Yeah. It's look out! Oh! Gosh, darn it! Hello, Father Donigan. Sidewalks? Sidewalks? Some people can't. There's too much sacramental wine. No? <laughs> From all of America, you think they have the parking lot of America, too? I'll move it if there's a handicapped <laughs> person that comes. I told you I would move the car if a cripple came. <laughs> Except I don't think they said a handicapped person. I think it was definitely more offensive than that. I mean, there was some cringy stuff. Yes, there certainly is. It, like, right the line of they're absolutely being subversive and making fun of everyone across yeah. the board but there's also stuff in here that just like would not be in a movie today like Absolutely. they use the word retard a lot far too more, more than once more than once 
a whole hell of a lot. Those scenes with, with that character were the most cringy and the least successful having aged with time. Sure, although I will say this, because that came up in the Q&A. Uh -huh. Mindy gave a great answer. I love her. She's so great. She gets it. She's definitely with Sherry O'Terry, like oh my God. hanging out Can in the corner. Can they just be like fabulous sisters who are hilarious I love and that. like run some sort of B&B &B on like an island in Maine, but it's like the weird town Yes. and it's like Northern Exposure, but in Maine. I love all of this. Oh my God, I want to watch this show right now. Yes. Northeastern Exposure. <laughs> Yes. But anyway, yeah, so Mindy was like, there's something about the irony of the juxtaposition of like these pretty princess, you know, like yeah. teen pageant girls just thrown out retard and like being oh, complete yes. like so I think part of the offensiveness and a little bit of the darkness, I agree, I still wish it was darker. Yes. At times at least. Part of that, like the juxtaposition of the two makes it funnier. And I think if it was oh, yes. so PC and they weren't saying stuff like that. Oh yes. I think it's like it's both things. It's simultaneously knows what it's doing with mm -hmm. that character and choosing to to make a point of that and using that properly and also a, a age of the time. Also that. People used to say that all the time and yep. it was like totally fine. Very like that. People just said that. Yep. So it's both. It was absolutely both. We're Lutherans at Mount Rose. We don't have a back room in our video store. Oh, oh no. Oh no. All <laughs> God fearing folk. A back room in our video store. No, 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 no. that filth is better left to the Sin Cities. AKA Minneapolis St. Paul. They, you know, they allude to stuff like that, like, oh, we don't have a, a sure. A How does she know room. what a back room is? What's a back room? Uh, and then do we find out that there really is one, but she's so mm. blind, you know? And, and who's running the video store and is, is some creep? I think the the belly, the sort of dirty underbelly part of the town. I wish I had had been more fleshed out. I like that. That's true because I think that too. Then that could have gone hand in hand with these murders. Yeah. Where you're just kind of like, oh, and then you know, is it like the goth girl in the bathroom because she's jealous, <laughs> you know, or whatever, or is it you know who you wouldn't expect? Right. We're getting introduced to all of our contestants. We get. Smiley Amy Adams in her film debut. Her film debut. It's all teeth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Found this out. Huh. She was cast in part with a few others because they were in Minnesota. They were from Minnesota or whatever. She was just there. She was there, but then she didn't have the accent because she'd moved there or whatever. Uh -huh. And so they had to go through accident camp. Oh, cool. But like, yeah, that was just like the luck of the whatever. There were a bunch of these like crazy. Is that crazy? Crazy. This cast is insane. Insane. We get Brittany Murphy yep. and her drag queen brother. He's gay! 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 What? I just love that her whole character was just, I'm gonna uncontrollably laugh now. Oh yeah. Like I just like, just, and I'm doing this. I couldn't tell, was she stoned? Was she stoned? Was she so embarrassed? Her her defense mechanism was I'll just laugh. Yes. You know, or something like yeah. that. Like, I'm so and so and this is I'm <laughs> just like cracking up and laughing. She was really fun. Here's Peter as Liza. <laughs> this is him as Liza. Oh my god. This is him as Barbara. I became really obsessed with New York last summer when I visited my brother. I loved that. So then we have Kirsten Dunst, you know, and she, I mean, they introduce her in her morgue painting. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh I don't touch any of the embalming fluids, no. <laughs> I don't know what that accent work was, but, it you went, know. Uh, to a different place. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like Swedish almost, which is similar, but different. And different, then, yeah. You know, oh, the great hairy hole. I mean, that, I don't know what that was. I don't know. <laughs> We're losing it. Well, also, nobody had Swedish accents in the snowman, so. That's true. <laughs> That's true. What was with the 90s and like people working in funeral homes and then yeah. bombing or my girl yeah like doing the makeup and stuff I don't know it's weird yeah, it's like a thing yeah because it's an easy way to have a, like a macabre tone. sure right? yeah, it makes it darker automatically that she's just painting these dead bodies well and she's got all these different jobs she's not the rich girl like oh my god can we talk about Denise Richards yeah she really stole the movie for me That's I thought so she funny. was so funny I think she does not get enough credit for being Fact, like in general, not just sure. in the movie. Like, I feel like Denise Richards is so beautiful yes. that people just are like, oh, she's just this gorgeous thing that like, who cares what she's... No, but she really nailed... She's so good and she yeah. picked interesting project. Like she did Starship Troopers, which is totally this bizarre, t same kind of satirical weird like tone or whatever. Even Wild Things 
has a bizarre tone even though like on the surface it's totally just like exploiting women and her and you know oh, then her and Nev Campbell made out but there's like weird shit going on in that movie that's more interesting than you think so I just like brought that up to Denise Richards she's yeah. fabulous she really nailed the tone yes well and, and the first death is like 14 minutes into the movie it's it's like, and blam the tractor explodes <laughs> yeah, because they're inter they're still introducing everyone's characters yeah, yeah. and she's like here I am oh I'm on the thrasher and then just <laughs> I know that she always smoked after a big ride. Loved her. I mean, she said the heavy vibration helped her think. But I know for a fact, Tammy only smoked after a good drive. There were so many lines and things and jokes that probably went over a lot of kids' heads. Oh, yeah. You know, like, there was definitely stuff that I did not get the first time I saw oh, this no. movie. Oh, no. And there's a lot of stuff that's just either deadpan or not really accentuated in any way. Yes. It's just sort of, like, thrown in there. Like, you yeah. can watch this movie over and over and over and catch different things every time and be like, oh, that was really funny this yeah. time. Oh, yeah. that was really funny this time. Yeah. Or sometimes, too, I think the, I think the actresses, either earnestly or not, oh, yes. played things off as, like, as naive. You know, right. it's just like, oh, I don't, I don't know how that was still on the hanger. <laughs> Here's the weird part. It was still on the hanger. Well, and the other sort of like yee thing in the movie is the Japanese couple. Oh yeah. We adopt Mori three years ago when we come to America to help uh, acclimate us to America. That scene was so awkward. Yes. But it later in the movie led to my favorite line, which I laughed the hardest at, which was when she has the mushroom cloud on her head. Oh my god. Atomic power is why I'm proud to be an Asian American. American. And I was just like, oh my god. Like I lost my mind. I laughed so hard. Atomic power makes me, Molly Howard, proud to be an Asian American. Because it's so inappropriate <laughs> on so many levels. <laughs> like the layers and layers of inappropriateness were just like, oh, it made it all worth it. Yep. And she has a mushroom cloud on top of her head. Died. Is it, that really brings it all the way full circle yeah. to just be like, oh, oh, the inappropriate offensiveness had a purpose. Oh my god, and the fact that the the hospital has an eating disorder wing. Oh man, well I love the burn unit this way. We'll get there. <laughs> eating disorder wing this way. This way. Oh, okay, we're going this way this time. Brushing the hair and... Oh, shh, no. Who are you? Yeah. Oh, she always does that. The same job. When she comes in, lights, camera, and me without a stitch of makeup on her. <laughs> I mean, lost it. Lost it. She's so great in this movie. What? Oh my god. Lights, camera, and me without a stitch of makeup on. We didn't really talk about Amy Adams' character. No, we didn't talk about Amy Adams' character. We, I mean, we talked about her smile. Oh my god. You know, we all knew that girl who had the serious boyfriend, and all they did was make out, and other things. <laughs> I, it's been two months. I haven't told my boyfriend, but... Anyway! <laughs> oh, you, oh, I'm not concerned about the pageant? Oh, uh... Oh. Right, uh, nervous about the pageant. Right. I, at the end when she runs out. Hey, hey, I got second runner up. I got second place. Third. Huh? She doesn't have as much of a role as I remembered. No, I think because she became Amy Adams. Yes. You know, everyone expects her to be more of a lead. I think she was really great and earnest yep. in her performance. And you really do see the star power in her. Like, yes, absolutely. Your eye is drawn to her constantly. Absolutely. I do wish her character, like, I didn't like how they, ended with her character. Right. How it was like, oh, and then she became an exotic dancer because all she is is an absolute slut. And I was like, well, yeah. not that all exotic dancers are sluts, but it was just like, the character went nowhere. That was And the, it wasn't yeah. like, oh, she had to become some nun or something, but just like, I wish she'd had some kind of... They didn't really give her a character aside from the fact that she slept with her boyfriend. Exactly. She did a lot, with, like, she elevated it and made yes. you like that character. Yes. I just was a little like, oh, I wish... Something else had happened. Also, her. she really nailed the background action. Oh my, I mean, she's constantly doing it. It's so good. Well, and that was another thing, actually, in the q and I guess the, the, the q and did have some gems, but they were talking about how he was like, everything is going to be visible in the background or whatever. Have so everyone present. has to be improv and coming up with a character. So um, the girl, the, the knitting ball yeah. girl that I forget her name, she was saying that they all really then got into their characters because you right. were constantly acting in the background. And there was one scene where she said she just disappears when they're, when they're all signing up or whatever. Mm -hmm. She just disappears because she's just hanging out under the table. She's just like, that's just what my character wanted to do. And I was like, love this. Great. Love it. 
But yeah, there's so much stuff. I mean, you could watch it a million times. Yeah. And there's always something else going on in the background that is hilarious. Well, because like, they're overhearing an interview that's happening in the foreground, and so they're like reacting to it like... Yeah, yeah. You know, like that kind of stuff, so it's fun. So then we're introduced to Kirsten Dunst's mom. Oh my god. Ellen Burke. I love her so, so much. much. I mean, always in everything, but like, oh my god, this is... She, she might be my favorite. Alison Jamie. They're tied. They're a little pair. Well, they are. And then that's what's really fun about it is that Alice and Jenny's kind of like a second mom. You oh, know? yeah. Like, they're like the parental unit, and I love it. Never have kids. Oh, aren't you sweet for thinking I still could? <laughs> oh, my God. Ellen Barkin, and they're, you know, in, they're interviewing Kirsten Dunst in her room or whatever. Oh, oh it's just a film crew from, from L.A. They're from Los Angeles. They wanted to see my room and film me for their movie. Yeah, well, if they ask you to take your top off. Get the money first. Well, if they ask you to take your top off, make sure to get the money up front. <laughs> just leaves. Just, just leaves. So These good. adult men with some, I mean. So good. I loved it so much. Because then we start meeting all of the parents. Yes. You know, we've already met Kirstie Alley, but we meet her husband. And oh my God. I mean, this really got me when he opens up his the globe. globe bar. And he's like, the tape cassette comes out of Afghanistan. <laughs> See this? Hold three full-size booze bottles. Tape cassette comes out of Afghanistan. What? Yeah, cackling. And tape cassette. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. So good. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and everything comes from Taiwan. <laughs> when they're at, when just... they're at, when they're at Denise Richardson's funeral, oh, my... maybe this is God telling us to buy American. Maybe it's your way of telling us to buy American. They really set that up, the whole, there's like a thread line too of like, oh. the dad is cheap and he, And know, he's racist. He is and, racist you know. and all of these things, yeah. yeah. Oh, I always offer to pay him off in tacos. Yeah. And you're like, oh God, you're a guy. When Denise Richards is showing, oh, you know, there's 1,500? 1,500 beads on the skirt alone. My mom had Mrs. Lopez make it. She's one of my father's many Mexican workers. Mexican, Mexican. workers. Make it. One Mexico. Of the, one of his many Mexican. Like the way she said yes. it. Oh my god. He lifts them from the poverty they know in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So, quick commercial break, and we will be right back with more murders. I mean, I do have a question about some of the murders. Yeah. And if they were murders. I think they all were. Denise Richards was murdered? No. Okay, I just. I, at a certain point, or, I remember. Or was she? By who? See, now at a certain point, I really wish this movie had ended with Kirsten Dunst being behind all of it. I agree. And her sort of like tap dancing off in the morgue and being like, <laughs> you know, and you're like, oh, Ooh. I she's mean, not that sweet. And it's like, I think that would be kind of a much better ending. I agree. All I'll say is that it, I feel like it still leaves it open for questioning. Like, oh, isn't Kirstie this all Alley, convenient? Kirstie Alley con confesses. That's the problem. Damn it, I should have killed you when I had a chance, just like your little friend. Oh, tell me was one crispy critter up on that thrasher. I wish it was clearer. So, like, Kirstie Alley clearly killed the woman, the girl, the young, the young girls. Why are you asking me about young girls? I don't know. I don't like young girls. You asked, right? I mean, I'm just, I was asked to be a, a judge, but that doesn't mean that I like to look at young girls or something. <laughs> the young girl on the tractor. Yeah. She can, she murdered her. Yes, fully. Fully premeditated, she murdered her. Yeah. The the guy, Brett, Denise Richards murdered? We think. Because she's jealous. So that's why, like, the motives are like, oh, so people are just, like, kind of murder crazy. You know what I mean? I wish there was a through line. Yeah. And that's why it would, it would be so great and, like, twisted if it was Kirsten Dunst at the end. In the end. His murder never made sense to me. It is wholly unrelated to the pageant. Sure. It is purely for, I guess, jealousy or whatever. Right. You cross the bridge. We don't ever really find right. out, but essentially it's like either to hurt Kirsten Dunst, which she doesn't seem that upset about it, or because she's mad because Brett turned her down. Right. This really threw me off because I just really, it has nothing to do with anything. Oh. I mean, is there, is there a reason that I'm missing it or is it just missing? I think. What do you guys think? Yeah. I think I it's just, just missing. It confuses me because it's like. It's petty. It has nothing to do with the pageant. Right. And that's what bothers me. And it me. seems like Kirstie Alley would only be obsessed with the pageant. Kirstie Alley would have no reason to kill him other than maybe to play mind games on Kirsten Dunst. But then if you're going to do that, just kill Kirsten Dunst. You know what I mean? So it's well, like, right. Right. And she says later, I should have killed you when I had the chance. Right. So it's like, it just bothers me. Yeah, that's fair. But anyway, you know what he's from? 
Hmm. Mighty Ducks and Mighty Ducks 2. <gasps> That's crazy. I was like, he he's from something. And not a lot else. He's in like very few things. I was like, I always kind of love that. I know that's terrible because, and not because it's when like not the end of the career, stuff. but it's just always funny to me where it's just like, oh, they're within that one thing that I watched a million times and, it's, and yeah. then nothing else. Yeah. Oh my God. I was watching Stranger Things and it was one of the bad guys from Hocus Pocus with the long blonde hair. Oh my God. Not Ice. The bullies, yeah, not Ice. I was sitting there like, why do I know that? Oh my God. And it like came <laughs> from like beneath. From, from I was like, oh my God, it's the guy from Hocus Pocus. And I like, blew my mind and that was like the best. I love it. I, I love was it. so excited. <laughs> but anyway, drop day gorgeous. Yeah. We're starting to heat it up. We're getting into the competition, into yes. the, the extra, what are the athletic performance? Oh what are they God. calling? For the physical fitness number. Yeah. Nothing too showy. No, you betcha. With the, with the dance instructor lady. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't squeeze them too hard. I think I heard something break. <laughs> and their little step ladders. Their step ladders. And the girl that just falls right on a crash. And then she's just icing it. Just icing it and watching. Uh, and John Doe. Did you notice his name is John Doe? Like spelled like Yes, I definitely Doe? did. Yes. Because he's clearly hiding from the police because he's a pedophile. Oh, just watching the young girls. Contestants. Just there. a camera that I keep in the glove box. <laughs> For accidents or mm, something. I don't know. Why are you asking? <laughs> you brought it up. You asked, right? You asked about the little girls? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Dark humor. Dark humor. That doesn't. Ha that didn't have to get any darker. That no. Was just. Yes. Yep. Just dark enough. So this is where we actually get introduced to Allison. Oh, she doesn't show up for a while. I know it's a bummer because but then she's, she's so. In, like, oh, she's in so much. Most of the you know, yeah. back half. It's because she's the most smartest. It's the most smartest. It's great. You're real educated, like most smartest. Get a picture of that. Most smartest. Most smartest. Come on. When you guys want to drive me home. Oh my. <laughs> Don't fall for it. She lives two trailers down. So it'll be really easy. Good. She's. De and she's definitely. I love favorite. that her horniness like sprinkled in throughout. I got some. I got I got some. Catch, <laughs> yeah. Watch okay, it. If you catch this in your mouth, did you just spill that? I, it actually popped back into it. Oh, good, great. Yeah. Oh, you got oh, it on the first try. try. Oh, God, you got that on the first try. Come here. Here's your prize. Okay. There's so many fabulous in this movie. It's absolutely. Bunts, fabulous bunts. There's so many fabulous bunts in this movie. I did love the cavalierness with which the town responded to the death. Oh, yeah. So, you know, Brett just got shot in the head. He did? Well, hunting's dangerous. He did? Oh. Oh. If the next person that comes in this room doesn't have a pack, a pack of Luckies. I can't. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. She's pregnant. I suck your tap shoes in my panties before oh my God. I got blown out of the house. Oh my God. Alice and Janie just talking about the two of them is the, she's such like a hype man yes. woman. Yes. It's so great. She's such a good friend. I heard you. I was just trying to scare you into changing your mind. Oh, for Christ's sake, Amber, the woman clung to your tap shoes while flying through the air like a goddamn lawn dart. Just, I mean, the most iconic visual for me, aside from Mount Rushmore, is, uh, is the, the beer can. Oh. I mean, it's so good. Well, we have to let it heal first before we <laughs> see if there's any left in that. <laughs> Just like this horrific fused hand. It's so good. Because that was definitely an attempted murder by Kirstie Alley. Yes, definitely. I and mean, that was like, oh, they thought she was, Kirsten Dunst was going to be home, et yeah. cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah, all my mom's clothes melted onto mine. Forming like this big polyester meteor in our closet, you know. I just, okay, I have to break it down. Yeah. So, okay, so she says, you know, our, our clothes were fused together, but somehow my tap dance outfit was, was blown onto the roof of the neighbor's trailer. And it was still on the hanger. So we're to assume that he had taken it to like jerk off to. <laughs> right? Is that what? I mean, either way, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny if, isn't it hilarious that it literally like <laughs> flew out and that was the only thing that got saved, but also yes. Okay. 100% yes, and I love, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love where it's going. Yes. Because I don't think I got that as dig, when I was younger. Dig in there. Dig deep. I love it. Some kind of weird miracle? Our neighbor boy, Kenny Hansen, found my tap costume on the roof of their trailer while he was setting coon traps for his dad. Oh, and I also love that this time we go to the hospital and we go to the burn unit. Of course. The other way. The other direction. Yeah. But yeah, so then, so then we get to the uh, the interviews, the judge interviews. Oh my God, if are you? you, are if, you, you were, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Green? Yeah. I'll be 
be whatever kind of tree you want me to be. And then I love I mean, a, a good strong Christian trunk. A Christian trunk. And long leafy branches to provide shade for handicapped kids on a hot summer day. Name all of the states in alphabetical order. Name and spell. Name all and of spell all of the states in alphabetical order. Are you serious? <laughs> A-R-I-Z-O-N-A. West Virginia. W-E-S-T-V-I-R-G-I-N-I-A. And then she does it! I know! I love West Virginia. I love she starts so sad yeah, about it. By the end, she's like, like yes, yeah. Wyoming. And then he's just like, yeah. Yes, bitch, you're doing it. And everyone, I, okay, you did it. I, it's like, it's so stupid. We haven't even talked about Diane Sawyer. Oh my, how have we not talked about Diane Sawyer? She's Except like, not a size 10. Diane was hippie back then. Not like our girl. Yes. Alice and Jamie's the best. Like She's great. Yeah. She just loves them and wants them to succeed. Diane was a little hippie back then. Not our girl. Oh no. So we've, we've made it to the Mount Rose pageant. The, yes, the day of. Yes. The citywide pageant. Oh yeah, ever, I mean, I, there's only 5,000 people in the town, I guess most people are going to the pageant. <laughs> These hats oh my God. give them an Oscar. I love it. This mountain with the bow, all of them are so differently bad. Oh my God, we didn't even talk about a mare I can. A mare I can. <laughs> can you remember the theme of your favorite pageant? Can I? <laughs> a mare I can. <laughs> all the hats are, are like, t they're all terrible, yeah. but terrible in different, unique, interesting ways that you would make it home. Like Kirsten Dunst is just on like a, a gold, like sparkling top hat yep. on top of that. And then, and then Denise Richards, I mean, that's oh really the, the my... takeaway, the icon. You can take an ugly old mountain and put some American, true American faces on it. And it's like, what? <laughs> it's just like a long walk. <laughs> To live in a country where you can take an ugly old mountain and put faces on it, faces of great Americans who did so much to make our country super great. And Brittany Murphy trying to light her statue of liberty. The, the, the flame. Oh, and then she's just laughing. <laughs> she just cra can't. She's cracking up. I thought she was gonna like, you know, oh god, matchstick herself. <laughs> Makes me proud to be an American. <laughs> no. I mean, that's where this movie was. That's true. Leading me. That's true. No, because she wasn't competition. <laughs> I was never gonna win anyway. Yeah. <laughs> My parents won't care. They only had me because Peter needed a kidney. <laughs> you know they only had me because Peter needed that kidney. And then last year's winner gets to do oh. her performance. Don't, Don't cry, cry out. Oh, that was really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> like it was, it was like not great, and then it immediately <laughs> fell off a cliff. We threw it off Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Off of Lincoln's nose. Oh my god. Don't cry out loud. Wheelchair with oh her share wig. Oh I mean, my god. I mean, it wasn't share, but I mean, it was like a share wig. This is, I mean, iconic. Also, this was the darkness I enjoyed. Like, absolutely. She's so ill. She's made herself so sick to win, like, you know, last year or whatever. When she's like, oh, and that was all in 400 calories a day. Exactly. Yeah, ran 18 miles. Ran 18 miles a day on about 400 calories. I was ready. I was thinking this would be a fabulous couples Drag costume. show. That too. In the wheelchair with Yes. The... I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Don't cry. But also a, a, a couples costume, I thought, for Halloween. Just like a nurse. Someone is the and nurse, and then the, the other person is in the wheelchair, and just, yeah. yeah. It'd be great. Mount Rose. Exactly, know. exactly, yeah. Oh my god, in the wet paint step light. My hands are stuck to it. I'm getting a headache <laughs> from the fumes. No. <laughs> Would it have been funnier if it was red paint? Um. So it would have been like a period joke? Oh. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. funnier that it's just like blood and like the violence. That's what I thought you were going like, with. Yeah. Well, because it's like right on her crotch. That's right. What I thought. Yeah. But like, and that's everyone when you wear white shorts, you know, you gotta. You gotta be careful. Girl. Yeah. I just, it's, it's happened to the best so... of us. But um, that might have been kind of gruesome and fun. It may be. If it was if it was a musical, here we go. When they make this inevitably into a musical, yeah. that's when another new murder happens and they think she's not dead. You know, yeah. they don't realize it that because she's, she's covered and out. she's actually bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like some sort of short, hilarious, over the top blood 
physical Dance comedy number, yeah. situation. I love it. Right? Yeah. I just love this when you know, like at first you're like, well, but if it's wet, how wet is it? Is it gonna get on the, and whatever? And they lean down on their arm, and then everyone's arm is exactly all blue. They have the exact same handprints. Yeah, they have the exact same. Other, I will get so it's good. Okay. They're all rubbing turpentine. Uh, yeah. Well, and then you're kind of like, where's this turpentine gonna go? Flammable. Anything flammable, you're just like, Ugh. it's a lot of fire. A lot of. Oh, we'll get there. We get this soylent green monologue. Oh my god, it's so good. And what is soylent green? <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's just so stupid. It's so fun to have going on in the background yes. with the other. Yeah, well, the, the, the drama. The, and then just to know that she's still talking about it. Yeah. Like she's still doing this monologue. Meanwhile, I can't find my costume. Who stole my. You yeah. stole it, didn't you? Yeah. I know you did. You can't. Bring it on. That was funny and apropos. Uh oh, you bring me on some of that snotty attitude, Becky. Bring it on. Well, as my mother says, it's Sunday dinner. Come and get it. You can't do your costume unless it's been pre approved a week before. Oh my god, so stupid. Just like Kirstie Alley's costumes? <laughs> yeah, maybe that was I'm a joke. I'm never gonna see her the same maybe way. Maybe that, that was, was a joke. joke! They were like, bitch, we're writing this into the screenplay. <laughs> I love that. I do love that. Oh my god, and Amy Adams' talent of cheering on her boyfriend as he wrestles with another man on stage. That he then makes out with later? Or like, did not make out, but like he definitely kisses another guy when she Does gets he? second place. Oh, just like, oh, I'm excited. It was like, yes! And they like full on kiss. Oh, I didn't know. On the lips. Uh -huh. And then I was like, what's go going on here? They definitely had a three way at some point. Definitely, right? Oh, and I was like, is this like a, a throuple? I mean, I love it. I love that. I would have loved that story for her. Right? As opposed to where it is. Yeah, they didn't really give her enough. I would no. have loved for her to have had more of a character and more of a story. Yeah. But, you know, what are you going to do? But she does these high kicks and oh, yeah. flips and splits. It seems like she was actually doing them. She might have. She was definitely high kicking, like in the ladder scene and stuff. Like sure. She was definitely yes. flexible and seemed like she may have been a gymnast. I'm not sure. Oh, we didn't talk about Kirstie Alley checking out his junk. Oh my god! <laughs> Love to the folks. We were talking about the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and then Denise Richards' talent. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, at first There's it's sort of just... There's a special man. You know what? The rumors are true. I do have a special fella in my life. So it's just sort of this weird sing talking? Like, yeah. oh, so yeah. she can't sing, well, so she she's can't, just yeah, talking. Yeah. yeah. Right? She and, can't sing. Well, yes, that's true, but like you think yeah. it's not going to go anywhere else. Right. <laughs> just, you're just too good, good to, to be, be true. true. That's a famous song too, so maybe that held it up. Maybe. The 10 Things I Hate About You Got It. It's probably just Elton John. <laughs> I like this narrative that we, we that it's Elton John's fault yeah. that this yeah. movie hasn't been streaming for 20 yes. years. Yes, I'm blaming it on Elton John. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> song starts to build and she's in this like oh 50s poodle skirt oh situation and then oh, and then bringing she out she pulls out Jesus, Jesus Christ crucified, on a puppet cross. crucified on a cross with his hands velcroed to the cross oh my god and then hugs her so, I mean, I will say, in the theater, after she did her talent number, the entire audience broke out into applause. Oh, great. Fabulous. It's pretty fun. Oh, I wouldn't want to follow that one. Right. <laughs> then we get to Kirsten Dunst's talent. I mean, she finally gets yes. to do her tap routine. Yes, and Brittany Murphy gives her her outfit. Much better outfit. Than I mean, the red sequin tap. Yeah, I mean, this was very much more like Eleanor Powell. Sure. You know, like fabulous tuxedo, you know. Yeah, a little more... summer stocky. Yeah, it was more fun. She didn't have flaming batons, you know. Anything ostentatious that my parents really don't like fire. <laughs> Probably because of this movie. Right? Right? I hope that is because of this movie. <gasps> Love it. She is like Minnesotan. But this cracks me up, though. I mean, the way it's shot is just so obvious. It was just like, close up on the feet. And then like, Kirsten Dunn. And then like, da, 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 da. hide your face with your Fozzie hat. Hide your face. Hide your face. Oh yeah, it says I do all these, you know, flutters and da da da. da. And then it's cues and that, you know, <laughs> really got me. I was like, did they run out of money? What was this like copyright license free song that played oh, under her tap? Well, it was know, so like nothing. It was like a very to me. It was just very '90s grungy whatever. Like this felt a hundred percent like. And fill this in here, license free, temp track, we'll put it in later to me.
A little bit of that, but it also, to me, was just telling me, like, oh, she picked this song. Generic like, 90s. She right. really, yeah, like, it felt sure. like when you watch the amateur ice skating competitions, you're, like, on their way to the Olympics, yeah, 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 yeah. and you see their performances, and you're like, oh, you really thought this song was great, didn't you? You were obsessed with this song. <laughs> and now you hate it. <laughs> Yeah, because he listened to it a million times. Right? I don't know. This is so funny to me. There's no lyrics. It doesn't... Yeah, no. The song it's so was strange. so weird. And it didn't even really work well with the tap. Oh, absolutely not. It was, this was a terrible performance. It, I was like, she does not deserve to win. <laughs> I mean, the Jesus number was pretty awful, too. So, like... But pandery. Well, yes. Very Oh, my bad. God. Oh. Give it to the Soylent Green girl. <laughs> Soylent Green is... is People! We didn't even talk about sign language girl. Oh my god, how could we not? Whose name is escaping me at this very moment, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna sign and spread the love, you know. Yes. Oh, can I go first because my, my cousin just had a deaf, deaf baby and I want to go visit it. What? <laughs> Unless she's just like obsessed with deaf people. Yeah. It's so, because I, I knew that girl. I'll be honest, I knew that girl. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, the bloater had made her deaf. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, that's great. Yeah. She's so happy. She's, she's so, so happy! <laughs> that light was meant for me. I mean, it was. It was. She just could not kill Kirsten Dunn. No. Uh, so I guess that wouldn't make sense. Why would Kirsten... Well, no. Why would Kirsten Dunst be attempting to murder herself? If to it was throw her, off to throw the scent, off the scent that it was not actually her. You know, and like, she wouldn't hurt her mom. Oh. Necessarily. Yeah. Maybe it was I mean, all an accident. That'd be pretty evil, but yeah, yeah. I mean, if she just went full evil, I mean, it was just like, I needed to win. <laughs> that $75 scholarship. Right. No, that's what she did that's win. That's what she did win. Yeah, they announced the winners. <gasps> oh. And this was always weird to me, too, where it seemed like... I was always waiting it for... It feels for Kirsten to win. Well, yeah, I was waiting for Kirsten Dunst to, like, look at the paper and be like, the way that Kirstie Alley reads it... Is like, oh, I'm reading... Like, she's choosing her daughter even though it's not what she Exactly. Meant. And That's the first runner-up is... Contestant number... You know, it's my daughter, Rebecca Ann Lehman! Well, it's my daughter! She barely opens yeah, it yeah, to look yeah, at it. Yeah. So I always thought there was, like, shenanigans. Some, yeah, 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 shenanigans. Definitely that. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because then she's on the swan. It smells funny. Like gasoline. Oh, for Christ's sake. Everything smells like that in Mexico. It smells like gas. <laughs> Your father paid a lot of Mexicans to build this. What did she say? I don't even know. Something, something about that offensive. Something like that. The way they kept saying Mexican. Oh my God, I know. Really got me. <laughs> That like racist person trying to oh, seem not right. racist yes. by and in fact being even more racist in their attempt to pretend to not be racist. Yep. Oh, I just gotta light this fire cart. What's she doing? She walks away. That starts. It just goes. It just goes. Explodes. I mean, there's so many like just like, explosions. Like, the amount of like TNT you would need to explode that thresher. Like, oh, the, let right. alone, sure, this paper yes. mache swan, sure, but like, that's hard to say, paper mache swan. swan. Um, but like a thresh, like to like, literally explode that thing. That's big it true. Is. I mean, I guess it does have a gas tank, but it's, it's like, yeah, like gone. Yes. Anyway, it just made me laugh how many like huge explosions, explosions. there are. Yeah. And the, the swan, I was really sad that Denise Richard died because she was my favorite. I, she was really giving it to me, this, oh this watch. Explodes! Oh my god! No, it's still on fire! We have to go to state! <laughs> my baby! Baby, baby, you know, we gotta go to state! So this was just purely an accident. It, it seems to be, I mean, I don't know why she ever thought that lighting, lighting I guess they were sparklers. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that definitely seems like a fire hazard. Turns out it was. This is why you should, you know, by, by American. By American. <laughs> Who would have known that her dream of riding on a giant swan would bring about her untimely death? Maybe it's your way of telling us to buy American. That's just so absurd. I mean, it's almost, I love my, my dead, dead, dead gay son! son! <laughs> Level. Almost. Almost. I wish there was more funerals in this. I mean, a little bit. It would have been yeah, fun. Yeah. Now that Denise Richards is out of the way, oh. Kirsten Dunst gets to go to state. Oh, we get a consultation with a makeup artist. Oh my god, the airport! Turns out they're not even 
staying. No. We won't be staying the night. We ran out of money. <laughs> well, we find out why. Disaster. This is, I mean, iconic. Iconic. Yeah. Oh, I don't eat shellfish. Ma always says, don't eat anything that can carry its house around with it. Who knows the last time it's been cleaned? Because this is when you start to build a case against Kirsten Dunst, because you're like, right. so everything that is in her way mysteriously, is, disappears. mysteriously disappears. Oh, everyone else got put horrible food poisoning and dysentery. And she is the winner. What? Oh, what are you going to do? I really want to take a shower. <laughs> I feel like I need to take a shower. <laughs> I got some. <laughs> I got some. And then at this point, Alan Barkin has just a stump. They, oh, yeah. they, now they've finally removed the can. Yes, yes. Well, then we get the hook. I'm supposed to practice. Oh, they told me to practice. I did it. <laughs> Shotguns it and pours it in the glass really quick. <laughs> I just love the, her delivery of, I did it! She's so excited. It kind of reminds me of her Coolidge. Yeah. It's like kind of a similar oh. character. Oh, if Jennifer Coolidge was in this movie. I mean, because this movie is essentially like a Christopher Guest yeah. movie. You know, I mean, I would love that. Yeah. I think if he had directed it, oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Oh my God. <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge would have been there. Oh Catherine O'Hara would have <gasps> been there. <sighs> anyway, now she is going to national. Oh, yes. And I mean, there's like five endings. There really this. are. Now, this was kind of weird to me. Yep. They get off the bus. Mm -hmm. Who paid for the bus? I don't know. They ran out of money in the interim. Right. On the drive. Yep. Would you stop it with the Marco goddamn polo? Oh, oh my God. Stop with the freaking Marco polo. I'll come over there and rip your fat little heads off. <laughs> and then this, this kind of weird shot of Kirsten Dunn's like, well. I'm just going to get back on the bus. And then she gets back on the bus. And the door closes as if the bus is going to drive away, yeah. but all the luggage compartments are still open. Anyway, I just thought it was a little weird. It, it is a strange... It's a, it's a slightly anticlimactic ending for me. Uh, yes. Well, I mean, then it's also then not the ending. It, it just keeps ending. It's like yeah. Lord of the Rings 3. It's like, okay, <laughs> and fade to black. No, and fade to black. No. Yeah, because yeah. then we get Kirstie Alley released. In prison. Oh, this whole thing, right. Oh, yeah. See, this, I don't love the ending of this movie. Well, so you said there was a different ending? So in the in a different ending, she originally like kills herself in prison or something. There's like a whole side plot and it was too dark and, and yeah. test audiences didn't like it. Or there was something different that happened at the ending. So this to me, the whole, you know, last whatever, 10, 15 minutes does feel a bit like reshoots slash we didn't really know how we wanted to end this perfectly. Fair. A little bit. Almost would have preferred if the Nationals hadn't been canceled yeah. or whatever. Maybe she just like loses. Sure. And you're just like, oh God, that, you know, I mean, because like, it didn't seem, if, no, if everyone hadn't gotten food poisoning, right. it didn't seem like she was going to make it any further. No. So then it's like, well, just back to Mount Rose, what's she going to do or whatever. Yeah. And then Kirstie Alley freaks out and yeah, we have this whole yeah, thing yeah, 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 yeah. and the straight bullet. I still love the straight bullet the straight and her picking up the that's microphone. Great, that's great. I'm here on, you know, and it's like, right, it was it. Like, she shows her poise under pressure and then it, she gets her Diane Sawyer wig. Oh my God, it's okay. And somehow Kirstie Alley still led to her exactly. success. Yes. She still somehow, through her violence, enacted Kirsten Dunst's It's success. almost like they're in cahoots. Almost. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, yeah, every, everything that Kirstie Alley did led... Only helped Kirsten Dunst. It's tough. Kirstie and Christy and... Kirstie and Kristen and Kirsten and... Oh, it is tough. Yeah. I miss Denise Richards. <laughs> she is really great. That is a stitch of makeup. <laughs> oh, Allison Janey. Oh, so many fabulous people in this movie. Fabulous. The cast is amazing. Yeah. It's all women. That's what's so fun, too. So many women. I mean, women. like, 85%. The biggest male character, I guess, is Denise Richards' dad? Oh, and, like, the, and the, the judges. judges. And and um, the Brett guy. But, like, they're very oh, sure. ancillary. They're, yeah. they're all ancillary characters. Yeah. yeah. Another fun fact that uh -huh. I learned from the Q&A, the female judge... Yeah, that, paid more attention to it than you thought. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, who was she? She looked familiar. She's not. She was the writer. Great. So, yeah, cheers to this fucking great movie. It really is. It's, it definitely has the vibe of a cult classic. Even if you just watched it and you didn't know anything about it, you'd be like, this feels like... Well, there's just so many great lines and the okay. tone. It's, it's very unique. Yes. You know, yes. there's not a lot of movies like this. Mm -mm. And it succeeds for me 
like 95%. Yes. There's just a few little things where I'm like, oh, I just wish that was slightly clearer or more focused. And I wish the ending really punched it home, but like so nitpicky, like this movie's great and great. hilarious and so many fabulous women are in it. So many Barkin. fabulous buns. Ellen Barkin. Oh my God. So many fabulous buns. So many. Cheer. Atomic power makes me, Molly Howard, proud to be an Asian American.